Sporting events have been canceled for the time being, but like every industry, those who can help fight COVID-19 are pitching in. Mike Max joins us now. It seems everybody's finding a way to help during this time. It is, and I spent an afternoon out there today, and it's really refreshing to see how you can change gears and do different things if you just put your mind in the yep. right mindset, and that's what they're doing. Sports and life are about being adaptable. Don't have to tell any of you about that these days. One local company was busy producing product for the upcoming Major League Baseball season. The coronavirus came, and they called an audible. We paid a visit this afternoon. WSI is the 30 plus year brainchild of Joel Weed. They make clothes for big league and college teams. A lot with the pro NFL, Major League Baseball, and we were busy getting ready for spring baseball season, and all of a sudden, boom. The, the coronavirus hits. But what they use to produce these can be used in other ways. Changed over our production, put everything on hold with the pro teams and focused on uh, making masks for the coronavirus, uh, and finding solutions to help out. So they put their machines to use in a different direction and take fabric that can be used to produce protective masks. We do a lot with the same fabrics that, that are needed for a lot of the, the medical supply market. So we were able to take some of our existing materials and then make the, the gear up fairly quickly. They outsource the sewing part of the process. When it's done, it comes back and is shipped around the country to hospitals and first responders and retail stores that can move them into the medical sector. Well, I think that's going to be the sustainability story behind the, this, this issue. And I think a lot of people are saying, hey, we should be tr looking at trying to reuse a lot of our materials versus just tossing them and throwing them away. It's been a project like they have never undertaken because it matters a lot. And today they feel a sense beyond the bottom line. We got our team together. It all started last weekend. Uh, got a call like Friday, started to get some uh, calls for orders. And we got our team together over the weekend, came up with samples, prototypes, and got first thing Monday morning production going. Got a great team, we got a great country. It's neat to see everybody coming together for one mission, one goal. And I'm just so proud of our team, like, hey, and people are coming in, working extra t uh, overtime to try to, to fill the need. They're doing a great job. This is what it looks like, and it simply goes around your ears. It's real simple to put on. And the great thing, Jeff, is, as he mentioned, you can, it's washable, so you can wash it all week and use it. It's not an N95, but it's very similar. So they're selling it to first responders, Wyoming State Patrol, all kinds of hospitals, and they're also going to sell gowns now. Uh, going forward as well and they said every hour we get a call from somebody else in the United mm -hmm. States looking for something so it's a great way to you, take advantage of your resources. They also have people sew these at home so That's if right. people have that capability you can actually uh, be a freelancer and uh, and sew these at home for them and then give them back to them they give you the fabric so there's a lot going on out there. Could have been a baseball jersey right there in Maxie's hands but Could now it's... Could have been a baseball jersey but it's even better yet right? That's right. Yeah. All right thanks Maxie. We